In this video, the following points will be outlined. Aim of closed traction reduction of cervical spine, prerequisites for closed reduction, contraindications, equipment required, a brief video demonstration, the endpoint, possible complications, as well as radiological features of a patient with bifacet dislocation. The aims of closed traction reduction of cervical spine are cervical spine realignment, spinal cord decompression, and neurological outcome optimization. The prerequisites of traction reduction are patient should be awake, alert, and cooperative. There should be neurological and physiological monitoring throughout the procedure, and it should be carried out by an experienced clinician. Contraindications to the process are skull fracture, severe soft tissue degloving, and also if patient is unconscious or uncooperative. Now the equipment required will be shown. Reduction bed with double mattress, weight holder, S-hook, swan neck and orthopedic rope. Intravenous set, analgesia and sedation, cardiac and oxygen saturation monitor. A razor, local anesthesia, and suture material in case of temporal artery injury. As for all procedures, consent needs to be obtained from the patient. Now a brief demonstration of the process will be illustrated. Ideally, the traction reduction of the cervical spine is carried as soon as possible. Prior to the start of the procedure, the procedure is explained to the patient. Consent is asked, the patient is given stimetil, morphine, and midazolam. So now the patient is placed on a double mattress in a reverse triangular position of 10 to 20 degrees with a ch shoulder strap. And also the patient is in neutral position. So now we need to identify the site where the pin of the cone caliper is inserted. So this is one centimeter above the level of the pinna and superior to the external auditory mediators on both sides of the head. So this area of the head is shaved, it's then cleaned with iodine. Now afterwards we need to put some local anesthetic in that area. We use marking with adrenaline and we inject as deep towards the periosteum and also we infiltrate the skin. Afterwards, we do a small superficial vertical incision of around half centimeter on that area, and then we bluntly dissect with a scissor until the bone of the skull is reached. So now we need to use the cone caliper. We make sure that both pins are well inserted and secure on both sides of the head. So once it's it's well secure, we attach it with the S hook and and we start putting an initial load of five kilograms. So after 10 minutes we do a control x-ray. We assess the neurological status of the patient and we also assess the vitals of the patient. So if on the control x-ray the dislocation hasn't been reduced yet, we add an additional five kilograms of load and we repeat the same process, that is, we do the control x-ray after 10 minutes and all the vitals. So once reduction has been achieved, we place the patient in slight extension of around 10 degrees with the same load as traction. Afterwards, we gradually decrease the load until, uh, until 5 kg of load is in. And then we do an x-ray to confirm if reduction has been achieved. The endpoint of the procedure are successful reduction, failure of reduction, worsening of the neurological status, radiographic features of overdistraction. The possible complications include neurological deterioration, CSF leak and cerebral abscesses, cranial nerve 6 palsy, temporal artery bleed, and septic pin site.
Now we will show the radiological features of traction reduction of a patient with bifacet dislocation. This is a control x-ray of the patient after 10 minutes in 10 kg traction with the neck inflection. The traction was increased by 5 kg and an x-ray was taken after 15 minutes. An additional weight of 5 kg was added. Facet reduction was achieved with a total weight of 22.5 kg. This is the post-reduction x-ray with neck in slight extension with 5 kg traction. It is important that traction is continuously maintained when the patient is transferred to the ward and during hospital stay.